to me, allure is a force that compels you to discover the unknown. In my case, it's very linked to traveling and discovering a new place. For a long time, I thought I was just a designer with a camera. Eventually, I figured out that I was actually a photographer with a mild case of imposter syndrome, but it was just because it always came very easy to me. It was very intuitive and I didn't really pay much attention to the technical part at first, so the camera just felt like an extension of my eyes and hand and because it's just how I enjoy the most of my travels and how I look further and how I find the allure of each place. Color has a, a very deep impact in what you see, but for this project I wanted to take that a little bit further and make it uh, a quest to find color not only in unexpected ways, but also in ways that they link to a subject or place in a very impactful way. It's um, mostly about telling a story through time, color and place. And Chef Chauvin is very interesting in terms of color harmony because you have both the opportunity for something that's uh, monochromatic, filled with blue, very balanced and very unified, but you also have um, the opportunity for contrast and um, complementary colors, for example. Always been a lot about color, like how color is the main character in all of my images. Uh, and really the source for visual pleasure. It's smart. Oh, it's it's for color. Yeah, yeah. Body. It smells really good. <laughs> Everything, yes, yes, yes. Is there a story behind the blue? The first people that came here? L'été, c'est à Chawan, très, très chaud. Très chaud. Les gens anciens, ils font juste le blanc, comme ça, qu'on voit là-bas. Ça brûle les yeux. Et avec le bleu, ça fait très froid. Okay. On voit comme ça avec le soleil, pas de danger. There are other cities. Le bleu Chaon, ça c'est le, le vert. Donc de Asila, 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 le rouge de Marrakech. And the pink. pink. What's the name of the city? Euh, la vallée Kalam Maguna. Kalam Maguna, Maguna. Where is Maguna? Maguna of Atlas, the valley. valley. The valley. valley. Atlas valley. Mountains. Yeah, mountain, yeah, mountain. We're going to the Valley of Roses, where we're going to meet the rose pickers and the owners of distilleries. I think the vision here is the allure of finding that place and uncovering the beauty beneath. You stop the car and you see little bags of color and you're not sure what they are, but then you notice women in a distance collecting plants. They are bringing the bags towards your car. So all of a sudden you have a really nice composition that you weren't expecting or planning for. And I think that's one of the most exciting parts about photography in general. Allure is, is something that's present almost everywhere. You just have to have attention to the little things and what's beyond what you see. Yeah.
tea with fresh rose is well, very different uh, okay. uh, of uh, tea with dry rose. This village in this place is the, the most famous one with this type of rose. You can plant it, but it doesn't bloom. It's a very special rose, and it's only in here. It's really important to me. It's a tradition. Every year, every May, we go and we cut them. Sometimes we boil them. I don't want to be a role model to the, to the young generations in the future, make them see the value behind it, do the stuff we do before like our grandparents, our grand-grandparents. Yeah. It was valuable and precious to them, so we have to take care of it too. is uh, very precious and it's very sweet. With distillation, we can uh, really extract, capture, yeah, capture the, the smell and uh, preserve it for years. When you do the distillation, the perfume is magic and you know that after it will be more magic, you know? So this is very... It needs time. Yes, it needs time. And I think that it's a good uh, lesson for life. Oh. Mm -hmm. The way I'm photographing these people in these places, it's really about revealing like the beauty beneath the surface. Sometimes people might not be aware of how striking and meaningful something is uh, that they're either doing or something that they're wearing or how they move even. I do think it takes time to, to discover how a lure is presenting itself in a specific place or specific subject, uh, it does take time to understand what that specific feeling is. At, at least to me, it's not clear all the time why I'm attracted to a place, but with time, I end up discovering it. <laughs> 